Support Name Explain on Patreon for ad-free videos, exclusive podcasts and blog posts, and to help choose what names get explained. Click the link in the description. There is a nation that teeters on the edge of Europe and Asia. It has a population of just under 3 million people and is just under 30,000 square miles in size. It's an incredibly ancient nation, with its capital being one of the oldest inhabited cities on the planet, even outdating the Roman Empire. And the former kingdom where the nation now stands is believed to be the first place to adopt Christianity. They also apparently have the longest non-stop double track cable car and chess is part of the school curriculum. Just to share some lighter, less grandiose facts about this nation. I'm of course talking about none other than the nation of Armenia. Here in England, we call this nation just that, Armenia. And many other languages use a variation of this name, from the French Armeni, the Slovak Armenesco, the Japanese Alumenia, and even the Turkish Ermenistan, which while seems quite different, is still similar to Armenia. However, there is of course one nation in particular that uses a name that sounds nothing like the name Armenia. They use a different name entirely. Unsurprisingly, I'm talking about Armenia themselves. In the nation of Armenia, and in their official language of Armenia, the country is called Hayastan. There's a couple of points of interest with the name Hayastan. First being the central point of this video, that it's completely different to Armenia. However, the second thing I find interesting about this name is the second half of it, the stan suffix. This is a geographic naming convention that is commonplace in this part of the world. All the other stan nations such as Kazakhstan, Tajikistan and Afghanistan are just across the Caspian Sea from the nation. Under its native name of Hayastan, Armenia can be seen as a secret eighth stan nation, which is why I almost called this video for clickbait reasons. Anyway, how did this nation that names itself Hayastan end up with the name Armenia pretty much everywhere else on the planet? Why is Hayastan called Armenian English? And oh boy, this isn't a question I've asked myself in regards to an entire nation since April 2017. Sorry to keep you waiting. Though before we look into these two names, they aren't actually the only names this nation goes by. There's actually more. One of these other names are Naili, which is the name of a collection of tribes that lived in this area in ancient times. Apparently, sometimes this name is used for the nation in a poetic slash patriotic sense. There's also the incredibly ancient name of Alarat slash Ulatu, which comes from Babylonian, though it seems this name is only really used in historical context. Though a name for the nation that is commonly used that isn't either Armenia or Hayastan is Sumketi, the name used in the neighboring Georgia and other Caucasus languages. This name supposedly comes from an adaptation of an old Akkadian name for the area, Sumu. This really is a nation of a lot of names. But today, our main focus is with just the two names of Armenia and Hayastan. And let's start off with that native name of Hayastan. As we mentioned, the latter half of this name is a popular, well-established nation name suffix. We have a whole video about the stan suffix and what it means and where it comes from. But just to refresh, it derives ultimately from Persian and means things along the lines of place of slash country of. It makes a lot of sense for this suffix to pop up here. As I mentioned, it's just across the sea from the other stan nations and Persian seems have had an influence in the nation. So while we may understand the stan part of this name, what about the former higher part? Well, we aren't exactly sure. This is an incredibly ancient part of the world, and unfortunately, we just don't know. Too much time has passed and a clear answer evades our knowledge. Though that doesn't mean we are totally in the dark on this one. We have a selection of ideas as to where the name higher stan may have come from. One of those ideas being that it comes from an older name of Hatti, which means the land of the Hittis. The Hittis were another ancient tribal people who once upon a time lived in this land. This etymology does of course make sense as naming places after tribes is a very popular way to name somewhere. What's also a popular way of naming places is by naming them after geographical features. And once there was an area close to the Armenian highlands called Hayasa, which too seems like a logical origin of the name Hayastan. However, without a shadow of a doubt, the most popular idea as to where the name comes from has it relating to another tribal people or geographic feature, but instead it relates it's just one person, that being Haik Nahapet, also known as Haik the Great, the legendary founding father of the nation. Sometimes the nation's name in his native tongue is seen as simply being Haik, that's how important his role is in this land. How Haik came to be the nation's founding father is detailed in a legend first recorded by Armenian historian Moses of Hyolian. The story goes that Haik and many people fled Assyria, which was under the rule of a fierce person, who I've seen be called either Bela the Giant or King Belus. Let's just presume this is a giant king called Bel. Hike settled in the land what eventually was named after him. However, Bel was unhappy about this and sent an envoy to demand Hike return. Of course, Hike refused to come back, which enraged Bel. 
So the giant king sent an arm of his fellow giants to take down the rebel. This led to a great war between Hayek and his fellow rebels and Bell and his giants, which accumulated in Hayek using his longbow to land a far near impossible blow to King Bell, which instantly killed him. The rest of the giants fled and Hayek and his followers were the victors, allowing them to settle this land without any evil giant kings breathing down their neck. And of course, the land settled by Hayek was named after him, becoming Hayastan, as it's known as today. It's a neat story, and while it's more folktale than concrete history, it's easy to understand why it has remained so popular and has become the go-to explanation for the nation's origin and etymology. At its core, it's David versus Goliath, the big evil ruler versus the little guy, a triumphant underdog. It's a tale of huge importance in Hayastan, but if it's so important, then why isn't the name and variations of the name used across the globe? Why has pretty much the rest of the planet been left the name Armenia for this nation? Well, if you thought that we were clutching at straws for the origin of Hayastan, we seem to be even less sure as to where the name Armenia comes from. Most sources that seemingly talk about its origin like to first state that the etymology is fundamentally unknown. As mentioned before, this part of the world is incredibly old, and usually the further back somewhere its history goes, the less we know about it. Though like with the name of Hayastan, we have a selection of ideas as to where the name Armenia may come from. The top contenders for languages where the name may come from a seemingly Greek and or Persian. The oldest written recording we have of the name is in Persia on the Behistun inscription, which is some ancient text carved to a cliff in western Iran. The inscription uses the old Persian name of Amina. However, it also mentions other names to the land, including the name Harminuya from the now extinct Elamite language and the ancient Babylonian name of Urashotu, which went into the creation of that other ancient name for the land that we still use in historical context, which I mentioned earlier. This text may date back to sometime between 500 to 400 BC, so it shows us that the land has had vastly different names in different languages for quite some time. As for what ideas we have about Armenia's etymology, well, one of them is that it simply comes from the proto in the European Ala root word, which means to assemble, which is a nice enough sentiment to name a piece of land after, I suppose. Another idea is that it's a corruption of the older name of Harmini, which means mountainous region of the Mini, with the Mini being another name for a tribal people more commonly known as the Manians. This name of Harmini apparently comes up in the Bible as the name for this land, and it also relates to the aforementioned name of Harminuya from the extinct Elamite language. However, once again, the most popular theory as to where the name Armenia comes from relates to a legendary figure. Though I must admit, there's actually two legendary figures that have been credited with being the namesake of Armenia. The most popular idea for a person who gets credited with being the namesake of Armenia is with a legendary figure called Alam. Alam is another legendary hero of Armenian folklore, and he relates to the highest than namesake too. Quite literally, Aram is seen as a far-flung descendant of Hayek the Great. One source told me he is the great-grandson of Hayek's great-grandson, whatever that means. Legends about Aram also say that all modern Armenians can trace their lineage back to him, so you can understand why the nation would be named after this gentleman. While this idea might seem pretty conclusive, a man called Alam who is the descendant of Hayek created the name Armenia, there is another idea, and another legendary figure who the land could be named after. This idea idea relates more to Greece and to the Greek language. Supposedly by the end of the second millennium BC, a tribe migrated south from the north of the Balkans down to the lands of Armenia. They settled here and started to intermix with the people already there. The Greeks called this North Balkan tribe the Armen, so in turn the Greeks named this land after the tribe they saw claim it. And supposedly the leader of this Armen tribe, who they themselves are named after, was a man either named Armenios or Armenos. I've seen both names used. He was supposed supposedly one of the Argonauts too, as in the Jason slash Gold Fleet slash Fight Stop Motion Skeletons kind of Argonauts. So having your nation named after one of the legendary Argonauts is pretty darn cool in my eyes. And while this Argonaut etymology doesn't seem to be as well known or supported, I feel it explains to us so much better as to why this name of Armenia has become so popular outside the nation, as opposed to their own name of Hayastan. This theory puts the Greek language as the creator of this name, and the Greek language influenced 
so much, including the Latin language, which led to Rome using the name Armenia too. And of course, Latin went on to shape so many languages that spread across the globe. Though, that isn't meant to completely discredit the Aram etymology. In fact, I completely understand why this etymology is the most popular answer when it comes to explaining Armenia's name. Like the Hayek etymology, it's a neat story to get behind. There's just something really cool about the names of two legendary figures, both from the same family and both of huge importance in their homeland, being the namesake for the nation's two most popular names, Hayastan and Armenia. Armenia was suggested by Amy, and thanks to their suggestion, they will now be honoured as name explains patron saint of Armenia. Do you have a good idea for somewhere that's name could be covered in a name explain video? If so, then please consider donating on Patreon. Just $1 a month helps keep the channel running and earns you a weekly chance to suggest somewhere to be turned into a video, and you too could be a name explain Patreon saint. Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Patreon is vital to Name Explain, and donating just $2 a month allows you to enjoy ad free videos and bonus patron exclusive content. It also allows you to help choose what names get explained in upcoming videos and gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you so much for all the support you guys give Name Explain. Hello all and thank you so much for reaching the end of the video. Check out another video and subscribe to stay in the loop on all things Name Explain. You can find me on Twitter where I'm at Name Explain YT. On Instagram I'm also Name Explain YT. And on Facebook just search Name Explain. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and once again thank you all so much.